Okay, what's up everyone? So today I want to talk about Nebula. Nebula is a pretty underrated uh, double immunity champion. She has a lot of great uses, uh, specifically against the robots. If you don't have a Medusa, uh, Nebula can be a really good option for those kind of fights. Because uh, she does have ability accuracy reduction against them that's pretty consistent. And her shocks also deal a lot of extra damage to robots. Uh, that does go for everyone's shock abilities, but Nebula has a very consistent way of gaining those shocks. So. Today I want to talk about how to do a couple of duels, show a couple of tricks for gaining those shock charges and that kind of thing. So, uh, attributes, um, average and average. This is a six star, so she's she's pretty all around average. Um, block efficiency, armor, attack and health. Um, I do have her unduped. She's a six star. I'll talk a little bit about duplicability in a second. So, her passive uh, double immunity, so it means to poison and bleed. Uh, great for a biohazard path. Um, and she can gain um, shock uh, charges, electro sh electroshock um, charges every just under a second by holding block. Um, so for every one of these shock charges, Basic's ability accuracy of robots is reduced by 20%. So if you have five, that's 100% ability accuracy reduction to robots. You just have to be holding on to them. This doesn't mean you have to apply the shocks to the enemy, it just means you have to hold on to them. And this is relatively easy. Um, you you basically lose them. Uh, you can't lose them by getting hit. You lose them when you get a parry, uh, well-timed blocks, or and um, you you use all of them and it shocks the opponent for as many as you have. And those do some really good damage. Um, otherwise, in her passive, she can shrug up up to three shock debuffs in the fight, and she can gain five shot five um, of her own charges for every shock, so max fifteen charges gained. Um, and she starts off with two self repair charges that are passives. Um, when she when the, the opponent deals a large amount of damage over 110% of their attack in a single hit, she will repair the damage over five seconds. Uh, similar to Ultron, the self repair will stop if she is stunned. This is a regen. This is a regen buff, not a passive. Although the um, self repair charges themselves and the electric shock uh, charges are passives. So, like I said, you can apply those shocks. Um, Repairy. Uh, her heavy attack will also do a single shock as well. And the shocks affect her special attack damage, SB1 and SB2. So on her SB1, for each uh, shock debuff that she has in the opponent, you will inflict a power, lo power lock one second each shock debuff. And you also drain 3.5% max power per shock debuff. So the important thing to note here is when I was doing some testing with her earlier. The shocks have to be on, so it's the second hit that power locks. The SB the SB one has three hits. First hit doesn't do anything. The second hit power locks, so the shocks need to be up for that power lock. They can go away after that. But the third hit is the one that power drains, and if the shocks aren't around for that power drain, even if they're around for that power lock, then you won't actually get any power. Drain. So they need to actually be up. And you'll deal um you'll deal be three point five percent per shock debuff. So it is it's re it's relatively consistent. Um, 10, char 10 charges is a third of the opponent's max powers for one bar of power, so that's pretty good. But uh, getting 10 charges can kind of be a lot. You do tend to take a lot of block damage with Nebula, and I'll talk about that when we go into the duels. Uh, SP2 is very good. So SP2 will double the amount of shock debuffs in the opponent, and they will deal double damage over 3 seconds. Now, what this means is you're technically dealing the same amount of no, you're dealing You're dealing double damage. And it's dealing it a lot faster. So, you're originally you're going to be dealing 700. Now you're dealing 760. Now you're dealing 1500. Uh, originally over six seconds. Now you're dealing over three seconds. So it's that massive burst of damage that you're going to be getting with that SP2 with a large amount of shocks. Uh, her SP3 uh, she just overcharges for 10 seconds, and every time she's in contact with the opponent, she will inflict a quick uh, shock debuff that's the same as her. Um, Heavy tech, but it lasts for less amount of time, so it's still doing the same amount of damage. Uh, that 766 is pretty much what she, what her shock is around. Her heavy attack deals that, SP3 deals that shock, and her um, parries deal that shock as well. And then her SP2 just doubles it and de and decreases the duration. So uh, synergies I want to talk about real quick um, with Gamora. She does have double synergy, which is nice, uh, especially with that Gamora buff coming up. I do have a. Duped six star Gamora. But the most important 
So the most important synergy of nebula, nebulas isn't on Nebula herself. It's actually on Proxima Midnight. I only have a three-star version, but it's right here. When um, So at the start of the fight, Nebula will gain 10 electric shock charges. This means robots will immediately start with 100% ability to accuracy reduction. This means that you can deal a massive amount of burst damage just in that first parry. And it's just all around a fantastic synergy for Nebula. She gets a lot of benefit from that. I'm just going to hop into a couple duels here and hopefully show off the light um, the light attack trick with Nebula for gaining some of those electrostatic uh, charges. I'll just show this blade here. Um, quick thing to note, if blade has the more power blade has, the, those of you who don't know, he's going to be reducing the duration of my shock debuffs and my power lock debuffs. So that is something that uh, will make Nebula seem not quite as good. We'll try her out against um, Dr. Voodoo after this, so we have a Dr. Voodoo alliance. So, first things first, I want to get my dash back. And so it's just the same thing as Nightcrawler. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work. There we go. So we're gaining about three charges every time it does that. Get smacked there. Got the charges to go off. Oh, that didn't have enough there. We'll go again. So you really can't use parry to rely on to gain electric charge, because every time you parry, you're obviously going to be gaining, uh, you're obviously going to be losing them. We'll go for an SP2, we'll try and, oh good, use that. Yeah, a couple more here. Nice, quick, uh, just saw one tick of it there for 1,000 damage, that was going to, so that would have dealt about 6,000 damage. Um, just like that, nice and quick. I'll uh, keep going against. We'll go against that uh, Voodoo next. You can kind of see where Nebula, where where the issue with Nebula is, just from that first fight. She takes a lot of block damage. Uh, her block efficiency isn't really high enough to make it that sustainable to be taking as much as you normally do. Go back again. There we go, Doctor Voodoo now. Uh, I'll try and do the same thing with that light attack trick. It does work on every single character. It's just about the timing. Um, you, you basically just have to flash that light attack while they're in their block or while they when they just start their block, and they should hold the entire time. The timing is a little bit different. Because uh, unlike uh, when fighting someone like uh, Nightcrawler, you don't really get like a timer or something to know what you're supposed to do. I'll block there. Let's go for this 7%. That's going to be, what, 21% power? Oh, it's not. So I'm going to get 21% power drain here and a 9 second power lock. So you see the power drain. Power lock is on him. You can get some really nice long power locks with her. I believe um, Dorky Dave just made a video on her, uh, showing her off against the against all or nothing. But she can be helpful for if, if if she's your only option. That she does have very consistent power drain. See just how much health I'm losing blocks here. I am just going to go for a full twenty. No, let's go that. But yeah, he's going to be down. Thirty hits so far. We've been doing. Relatively simple fights, nothing uh, out of the ordinary trying to just go for uh, shocks here. We can try something. I'm not going to show her against uh, uh, against what's his face, uh, Winter Soldier, um, just because that is not a great fight. Um, it just takes a long time. Sure, you can get the max shock damage, but this kind of shows what she's going to be useful in, in for a normal fight. This will be an interesting one. So, I'm going to try and save all the shock debuffs and just have them out damage his healing. Uh, we are not incinerate immune, but uh, by saving up as much shock debuffs as we can, then we'll be dealing damage without uh, getting his incinerates to trigger. So, this will be an interesting fight. If we can get it to work, that is. 
There we are. So you can see we're still gaining them. Because uh, there are passes, even with that uh, ability on him. I need to get our back into that. Taking a lot of block damage here. I just want to see if I can get to SV2. I already have all 20. Oh yeah. So I think this will get him. Oh. oh. Okay. So <laughs> you saw the kind of <laughs> burst damage that he was able to do there. That was pretty insane, actually. Um, we'll see if we die from this. I don't know. Oh, there's the regen. He did get rid of our shocks, though. Oh, I should both finish off. So that was that was an interesting fight. Yeah. So now that you've kind of all seen uh, damage potential that she has, I just wanted to do some quick maths and a calculator here just to kind of give you the idea. So 1532.8 per shock debuff from her SP2. So she's doubling the amount of damage that they do. 40 total shocks means that she can deal 61,000 damage in 3 seconds. Just absolutely insane. Um, just those first 10 would deal 10 uh, times 766.4. Just those first 10, she has the potential, with the Proxima Midnight Synergy, that is, to deal an immediate 7,600 damage to the opponent in one quick 6-second burst. So, absolute fantastic potential there. Uh, something that not a lot of characters share. Um, Corvus can get up to that, obviously, um, but he needs rank-up potential. Not a lot of people have Corvus. Um, this is... It is ramp up though. Uh, she needs to ramp up throughout the fight just by gaining shock charges. So just look a little bit more math. Um, it takes her 0.9 seconds to find it. 0.9 seconds for every app for every um, block to shock charge. So that means that she can. That means she can. She it takes her um, 0.9 times 20. That's 18 seconds to gain 20 charges, and that's 18 seconds that you can be blocked. And that's kind of the biggest issue of Nebula. You're taking so much block damage when you use her. Even with that trick that I showed with flashing the light attack, you saw, you saw how difficult it was for me to get it 100% of the time. Um, and with a just below 60% block efficiency here, um, which is just about average, maybe a little bit below average, um, she definitely takes a lot of damage. Her self-repair doesn't help uh, block damage, but, it, but being a 6-star kind of does help. As a 6 star, I'd put her at at potentially at potentially useful. Um, just her her double immunities is fantastic. I do bring her to Biohazard. Uh, I use her and um, Iceman there and they do pretty well. Um, her ability to see reduction for robots is fantastic. Um, the uh, Axe 5, Chapter 4, Quest 6, uh, Ultron. Um, if you use the nebula, if you use the Proxima Midnight Nebula synergy there, um, she'll immediately start off reducing his ability accuracy, so he won't gain those buffs, and that's a great op that's a great alternative to Medusa. So, hopefully, you enjoy this breakdown of Nebula. I think the only thing I haven't talked about her dupe ability isn't necessary at all for her damage. Uh, when she's out of self repair charges, he has a percent chance to regain one, um, so she can so she can have more chances than. Um, more chances than just those two that she starts off with. Um, but her self prayer charges obviously mean that you have to get hit to heal. Uh, she's going to get, she, you're, you get a lot more benefit out of that uh, 6 star 30% regen um, than you do from the self prayer charges. You can see it, it caught me briefly there. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much Nebula. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any tips, leave them down in the comments. I always pin them if I see someone. Got a tip that I missed in this video. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.